Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the P51D and we're doing an updated cockpit familiarization. So to do this, we're gonna split it into left wall with throttle quadrant, front dash, good enough name for this area here, gun sight and bow, and right wall. And it's gonna be a bit behind as well. So let's start uh, with the left wall. Let's start with flaps currently in the up position and we can drag that down and we'd usually bind that to something on a HOTAS. Next, control of the carburetor. For normal flight we'll have ram air here, fresh unfiltered air. For flight, for instance in a desert where you've got lots of dust and things that we need to filter out, we're going to have unrammed filtered air, so I have the filter on there. The carburetor, we can have normal air there or we can force hot air in for, for instance, de-icing purposes and general control to keep the carburetor within working uh, temperature. Next, water radiator and oil radiator. These switches would usually be covered like that so you don't catch them. Take that off, take that off. Four mode switches. We can have both of them in automatic, off, manual close, or manual open. 99% of the time we're going to have that in automatic. So this is obviously going to be used in relationship with your temperature gauges which we'll look at on the main front dash. Same with oil, automatic, off, force close, force open. Leave it in automatic, cover them up. Landing light on or off. Well, the left fluorescent cockpit light and the positions we have are off, dim, on and start. Next we have a rudder trim that we can click and drag or we can bind it in the adjust controls and we have degrees shown here. Same with aileron trim and of course we have pitch or elevator trim like that. We have our main uh, our landing gear handle here up or down. We're going to go to the floor next, which is a little bit awkward, as I'm sure you know if you've been here before. But we've got left main wing tank here in US gallons fuel. And we have our windshield defroster here. Onto throttle quadrant. Throttle here, which will bind to our HOTAS usually. Microphone push the talk button there. Mixture control lever there. We can have uh, idle, cut off. Normal. Oh, got a backfire there. That's cool. Or um, or full emergency rich. I'm just going to leave it in normal for most of the time. We've got our prop uh, RPM here. Click and drag, or again bind it to your HOTAS. Regards those last controls we looked at, we can um, throw over the noise, but we can lock the prop RPM and the mixture levers, or we can lock. The throttle. If we want to jetson stores, we can jetson right store and we can jetson left store over there. Starting on the left with some gun sight controls, the brightness of the symbology. With the gyro, because we can have a gyro driven uh, a sight, the gyro motor is on, uh, off, or on. Mode, do we want it fixed, reticle only, fixed and gyro driven, or gyro driven only? This is a remote magnetic compass. It's called remote because the actual compass part is actually in there. I think it's in the left wing of the aeroplane. This is just a display. We've got the actual uh, magnetic heading here and desired here. Or we can call it a course needle and we have a course adjuster there. Chronometer slash aviation watch there. Uh, the ability to wind and or uh, adjust the clock there. Speedo here, indicated airspeed, miles per hour. Barometric altimeter in hundreds of feet and thousands of feet. We can set our barometric pressure there and you can just about see there is a reading for our barometric pressure in inches mercury. Down to the bottom uh, we can get this, oh didn't mean to do that but fine whatever. We can lift that up and there's a switch that's hard to get to. We can force the supercharger into high there or we can keep it down in auto there. If the supercharger is working in high, we can have we'll have this light come on, and we can test the light as well. Boost the fuel pump on or off. Obviously, it needs to be on. Oil dilute. Press and hold to dilute the oil. Starter button. 
pick it up there and electric starter primer again electric primer push and hold landing gear green locked safe red is unsafe slash in transit not locked and you can press them as well to test them next this would kind of be called your IFR panel as well that we can use if we're uh, uh, in bad visibility this guy uh, we've got a slip gauge here in terms of your left and right uh, you know stamp on the ball with a rudder and keep try and keep it between these two indicators here and we've got a turn gauge here showing uh, above it turn left and turn right indicator next more navigation directional gyro here and we can set it to our magnetic or whatever we want to set it to with this guy here next artificial horizon you can call it uh, an attitude indicator we are there left wing right wing that is the horizon it looks weird because I've got it paused so it's not actually working at the moment that shows our horizon we've also got an indicator for this here essentially is going to be for our roll so no roll 30 degrees left 60 degrees left 90 degrees left same for the right and the ability to adjust the pitch of where we are essentially and the ability to cage and uncage for ground use or harsh maneuvers or whatever and finally we've got a VSI here vertical speed indicator climbing or descending in thousands of feet per minute uh, and a parking brake I've just realized we've got the parking brake here we move back up we've got a vacuum gauge here so a lot of these instruments I think in fact possibly all of these work via having vacuum so you know negative pressure if you like um, and we've got a gauge here just to make sure that's working I can't see it very well but it's there and uh, shows the limits manifold pressure here of the engine PSI uh, you know showing maximum and recommended there we've got water coolant temperature in Celsius again you've got your indications your guides your carburetor temperature again degrees Celsius engine crank rpm times 100 not recommended to run above uh, 3000 rpm accelerometer so they record your highest negative your highest positive and give you current readings and we can reset ping for that guy there got a three piece uh, gauge here so at the top we're measuring the temperature of our oil in degrees celsius the pressure of our oil here in pounds per square inch the pressure of our fuel system here pounds per square inch oxygen we've got our flow indicator here and we've got our pressure of the system there armament panel um, it's got some other miscellaneous items as well magneto selection both left only right only or off uh, master weapon selector do we want to arm rockets or use rockets safe in the middle or bombs both at the same time or bombs train so that's bombs one at a time really weird switch hard to get used to but that's how they've done it for the left and right stations do we want to have nothing armed so middle left bomb armed right bomb armed or if we go in the up position strangely smoke pods armed smoke pods armed cockpit lights here rheostat Hor uh, gear horn silencer uh, so if you're having a warning audio tone for the gear then you can silence it there if it's getting annoying gun arm do we want the gun arm off or the camera and the sight only without the gun or guns and camera and sight armed Rocket control off or single shot or auto shot with instantaneous impact fuse or a delayed fuse. We have a counter here, currently reading 10, and we can adjust with that knob there. Next, main fuel shutoff valve there, has to be on obviously for the engine to run. Tank selection right hand drop tank, left hand drop tank, uh, main left wing tank use large tank main right wing tank and you can obviously oops uh, change it like that hydraulic pressure psi main hydraulic system emergency hydraulic gear door release here pull this to emergency release the gear doors and we've got a stick lock here um, surface control plunger and yeah is what it is right wall oxygen controls we've got our emergency bypass here ping 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 we've got a mixture here auto mix on or off our emergency pull for the uh, canopy release here 
We've got our IFF illumination here, uh, lights, if you like. We've got the Morse there. Beep, 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 beep. For the lights, and the associated lights are here. here. Red, green, and amber. And we can have them. Light key, so control for this, or off, I think it is, or constantly on. Uh, next, we've got a winder here for the canopy. We've got right cockpit fluorescent light with the same options as the left. We've got current being generated by our uh, generator in amps. Speaking of which, we've got our generator on or off here, battery on or off here, gun heating, pedo heating, our wing and tail position lights, whether we want them uh, off, dim or bright. Next, rear-facing radar, AN APS-13. This detects whether there is something or an aircraft behind us. The light signal, how bright the light signal will be. And we're going to be looking at this guy here. Ping. Power switch on or off. Test switch on or off. And an audio tone because we'll get an audio tone as well. This guy here is the homing. If we want to ho do radio navigation homing into a base, we've got frequency selection. Uh, it doesn't work in DCS, so we're not even going to look at it. Uh, not for this plane. It does some other planes. Radio, if you like a standard issue for preset channels, set in the mission editors, A, B, C, D, or have it off. Brightness control of the lights, if I can get hold of that guy, there we go. Uh, master mode, whether we want to transmit, if I can get it there, a little bit tough to use, transmit, receive, or remote. And we've got a remote lockout as well, which we can do there. And this is all covered properly in our radio tutorial, so please go and watch that. Next, ping, uh, okay, floor, hot air. Rio stat here, ping, 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 ping. There was another one here, it's almost impossible to get to. It's a cold air rear, cold air switch here. I've never been able to see it because that's as far as my track R goes. So there you go. Gallons of our right main fuel tank or our wing tank. Also, we've got around the back here again, pretty much impossible to see without BR, I guess. Main fuselage or fuselage fuel tank there in gallons. And onto the gyro gun site. Uh, so we have the reticle there. It's actually two reticles, fixed and non-fixed. We can get rid of the fixed ping like that, which is quite cool. Uh, we can choose the wingspan of the aircraft for the symbology size like that. And we can change the ranging here. And we can't adjust it with a mouse. We have to adjust it with a button that we bind to our HOTAS, which I believe actually twists the throttle here. And that will allow this to uh, move in and out. I don't have that set at the moment, but that's how that works. That is times 100 feet, so that's 2400 feet range set at the moment. Symbology size. Mirror, on or off. And, Mr. RC, I think that is all of our cockpit controls. I hope that was useful, and see you later.